Okay, let's talk about the way to determine the live weight of a pig using the tape measurements that we got just a little bit ago. The tape method for weighing tells you to take the girth times the girth, multiply that together, then times that number by the length of the pig. You will take that full number and divide it by 400, which will in turn give you the live weight. Okay, so when measuring the girth of the pig, you want to go right behind the front legs, and then you're going to pull it as tight as you can, and you're going to get the number, and in this case for Curly Sue, we've got a 47. So like I said, you're going to pull that tight, and then take that measurement, and that's going to... All right, we are going to do a tape measure on Curly Sue here, so we're going to wait till she lifts her head. We're going to be prepared. Come here, Curly. 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 There we go her head up to right there. We've got 47 is going to be our measurement for this. Okay, so determining the live weight of Curly Sue, who again, I refer to as Curly Sue for everyone else's information. Her registration name and number is Pepper0036, just so you guys can kind of compare. Now, when we're looking at this, the girth we got on Curly Sue was 47. The length was actually 47 also, so very uniform numbers for us. You can see again that the um, measurements here are supposed to be the girth times the girth times the length, divide the entire thing by 400, and that gives us the live weight. So I have done that for us down here. You can see I took the girth times the girth, which gives us the 2,209. We then multiply that by the length, which is still 47, and we get 103,823. We divide that entire number by 400, giving us a live weight for Curly Sue of 259.56. Again, for the girth, we go right behind the front legs. We come around, and again, we'll try and get her to lift her head here. Come on, Kelly. We need that corn cob. There we go, right there. Was our number? 48 is her girth. Okay, so this is again Kelly. She's one of our older sows. I'm using her so you guys can get a good idea of what we're looking at here as far as length. Again, we're going from right behind the ears to the base of the tail. So her length is 52. She's a little bit longer than Curly Sue. We'll do those numbers when we get inside. Okay, when we were out in the pasture, we got the girth and the length of Kelly 0017, who I just referred to as Kelly. The girth measurement was 48 and the length measurement was 52. I have it written down here for you. You can see what needs to happen following that tape measurement is we will take the girth times the girth, which is 48, multiply those together. When we get that number, we then multiply by the length of the pig, which was 52. In this case, that measurement that we come up with is going to be 119,808. We divide that number by 400, and it gives us a live weight of Kelly of 299.52. So basically she weighs right around 300 pounds. All right, for the girth, we go right behind the front shoulders again, and I'm gonna turn this so it's easier for Timber to see. 47 is the number that we are getting for the girth of black gold. All right, this is black gold, another one of our older ladies. We are using her because again, gives you a good representation of the breed from where it started. If we look at her number here, we've got a 51 for her length. Okay, and now for Black Gold, who is 0007. Her girth was 47 and her length was 51. So again, when we take the girth times the girth, the 47s, we come up with 2,209 as our total. We multiply that by her length with 51. We come out with 112,659. We divide that entire number by 400 giving us a live weight of 281.65.